Hi guys, it's Otto here from Trommer.com and I've got a new Sito RTS 5 version 2 for you. It's new, it looks great, but there's a lot more to talk about. The Sito 5 is a successor of the well-known TELUS 4 RTS. So I'll make a comparison to the TELUS 4, as that's the one people are most familiar with, or it's the one that they need to replace. First of all, the name. The Citro is called the Citro 5 and the TELUS is called the TELUS 4 RTS. That will make you assume that the Citro 5 has more channels, as the number is an indication of the number of channels that the remote can operate. But that's not the case. Both remotes have five channels, so both the TELUS and the Citro have, the, have an equal amount of channels that you can operate. So it's just that the TELUS 4 had a really odd name for a remote control that operates five channels. Still, the Citro 5 has the right name for the amount of channels. However, it doesn't have the right amount of LEDs. These LEDs light up when you're selecting or operating the channel, so you know which one you're using. The fifth channel is actually the channel with all the four LEDs flashing at the same time. So that's actually a fifth channel, and that's confusing. It's done that way because some of you assume that that fifth channel will be used as a group channel. But that's of course not always the case, because group channel is a channel that controls more than one blind shader shutter at the same time. But you might want to use it as a channel to operate just a single blind or shutter. Plus, by having all four lights flashing, people might assume that you automatically create a group channel, which is definitely not the case. For a group channel, you need to link the remote to each motor that you want to operate. And it has to be done manually. There's no automatic operation to do that. There are remotes, like the ones from Alero, that do have that functionality. So if that's something you want, check out those. So in short, despite the fact that you have four LEDs, you actually have five channels available. Now that we're on the subject of the LEDs, they've become very, very small. That might be a cool look for a designer, but if your eyes aren't what they used to be, you can have some real trouble seeing which channel you're actually operating. And even if your eyesight is still perfect, on a really bright and sunny day, it's still hard to see which channel you're using. Looking at the control buttons, you can now see that the My button is situated between two very large up and down buttons. This makes it look less like a stop button and more like a button with a special function. The distinction between the buttons was a lot clearer with the TELUS 4. With these large buttons, you'd expect to be able to press anywhere on these buttons to make your blind roll up and down. But that's not the case. You need to press the button in the section that's close to the My button. So here. If you go too far off center, like here, you can press whatever you want, but there won't be any signal. You can't press the button. The Telus 4 has a rubbery edge which makes it shock absorbent to some extent, of course. And this edge has saved me quite a few remote controls. Unfortunately, with the Situ 5, this rubbery material has been replaced by a sort of structure in hard plastic with dots on it. That gives you more grip, but there's no shock protection whatsoever as there used to be in the Telus 4 and Telus 1. This dotted structure does give you a good grip on the remote control. Personally, I think that's a real shame because it's not an improvement on the TELUS 4. The Situ comes with a small mount that's nicely integrated into the design of the remote control, so it has a nice clean look again. On the mount, the double-sided tape is already pre-installed, so it makes installation very straightforward. But there are no openings for screws, so if that's the way you want to mount this little mount, it's gonna be a lot of extra work. So let's move on to pricing, because that's very important as well. The TELUS 4, used to be available for around 50 euros. The Citro 5 is a lot more expensive. We currently have a list for 54.95, but I've seen it around 17 and around 90 euros. So if you're looking to replace your Telus 4 with the Citro 5, expect to pay up to a lot more. Speaking of replacements, if you want to replace your Telus 4 with the Citro 5, it's not going to be an issue. It's going to be exactly the same procedure as with the Telus 4. Wrapping things up, the Citro 5 really looks nice. That's a big improvement. But I also feel like that's what the designers looked at most. The new look has come at the expense of a fair amount of features of the TELUS 4, and that's a real shame. It's a missed opportunity, because rather than improve on the TELUS 4, there was an updated design, and that's where it ended. Because the small LEDs 
are impractical and the disappearance of the rubbery edge makes it more easy to break your remote. There's no choice, unfortunately. The Telos 4 is end of life, so it's no longer available. So all you have is a Situ 5 as a replacement or as an addition to your existing installation. If you don't need to replace anything, you're looking at a new installation, it might be worthwhile to look at alternatives which are less costly. So that's it. If you have any question about the Telos 4, Situ 5, programming, motors, remotes, anything you want, let me know. You can leave a comment in the description or you can send an email to info at tron.com and I'll try my best to answer. In any case, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video.